something was was wrong with him for a while because he seemed to be getting paler and paler. But um, it wasn't until we were away for the Christmas holidays that I fully realized that this was pretty serious. I was diagnosed with chronic myelogenous leukemia June 4th, 2001. Emotionally and physically, it was very hard on me. Um, I knew at the exact moment when my doctor said my blood work wasn't quite right that I had been diagnosed with leukemia. And I went to the uh, Dr. Porter at the Perlman Center and we spoke and he gave me different options of how my treatment would go. You need to speak with your doctor, sit them down, talk to them, ask them questions. Your life depends upon asking questions at that point. The Perlman Center has the potential to revolutionize patient care. It brings together clinicians like myself, with our collaborators, with researchers, all in an incredibly patient-friendly environment. Up until recently, we have had most of the care of patients with cancer in very different areas of the hospital. And this building is more than just a building. It brings together everyone in all different specialties, not only in the, the direct care of cancer, but we have cardiologists next to the oncologists, we have the radiologists right there, and it really facilitates the care of these patients. I think what's unique about the Abramson Cancer Center at Penn is that uh, one is surrounded by uh, a group of faculty collaborators that are available to enhance any aspect of any project that uh, you're working on. Uh, it's unusual to be in an environment where one can access those kinds of resources. In addition, uh, it provides an environment where we have direct interaction with basic scientists, which facilitates our translational research program. Multiple myeloma is a disease of the bone marrow where these antibody-producing cells are deranged and cause so many organ problems for those patients. In the past, cancer care for these diseases was limited primarily to chemotherapy and at times radiation. Now, more and more, we're using immune therapies to take advantage of the human immune system to actually fight cancer. What we're doing at the Abramson Cancer Center is we are taking out those patients' own immune cells, and we have a technique where we can activate them and then put them back into the patients after the patients have had their transplant. And these activated cells, perhaps even with vaccine uh, therapies are able to then attack the myeloma cells and potentially lead to further reduction in the disease and maybe even cure it. I fought every day. My team was there to support me, led me through each step of what they were doing. I can still call my social workers if I have a problem, anything that I think they can help me with, and they are more than willing to help me out to be there for me and to make sure that the whole cancer diagnosis and survivorship runs smoothly. It's now been nearly six years since Christopher completed his treatment and he remains cancer free. Um, again, I consider that a miracle. It all came together after 36 days in the hospital. I was free, I was home, and I was returning to normal. <laughs>